Hello, this is Cotton Stoops, and welcome back to another Lumion Legacy HGC video. And today's video is on Lumion, suggested by a, a viewer and friend, Isaac Newby. We will be talking about Garbantis. In today's video, you'll be learning stuff like sets to weaknesses and resistances, to what role does Garbantis play, and of course, teammates, checks, and counters. So, with that out of the way, this is how to use Encarner Garbantis. So before we actually get into the video, we have to ask the question, what role does Garbantis play? Well, thankfully, this question is actually pretty easy to answer because of its base stats. The first thing you should know about Garbantis is that its HP, melee attack, and range attack are all pretty low. 53 HP is one of the lowest for any offensive Lumion, and 54 range attack, we know we're never going to use that because our melee attack stat is a little bit higher, but not too much higher. Um, to give you an example, this melee attack is lower than Dorogo's, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, this thing is not going to be hitting pretty hard with its melee attack. However, it does have some other weaknesses, that being to energy and range defense. 64 range defense paired with its HP stat is actually pretty low bulk, and its energy stat of 76 is a lot lower than most Lumians like the starters, Kanibos, and some other stuff. So Garbantis has a lot less time on the field than others. However, this makes up for its low costing moves which I'll be talking about later. However, its best stuff that it has going for it is its melee defense and speed. Its melee defense is especially deadly because it does have a move scaling off melee defense which I'll be talking about later. And 104 speed is pretty good honestly. You do outspeed some stuff like um, Ferroglyph, Volk Low, I'm pretty sure. You can try and outspeed Tatab as well. You outspeed Namare, Vespratu, and some other stuff like that. So yeah, Garbantis overall is a pretty fast Lumion. It's melee defense bulk kinda helps it with its low HP, but other than that, it's not pretty bulky after all. So, what role does Garbantis play? Well, thankfully, this is pretty easy to answer. Garbantis is a quote-unquote bulky, hits hard, fast, sweeper, and cleaner. I would expect you to use Garbantis in the mid-game or late-game of your match, but if you want to go at end-game, which is probably the best answer, then you have to use Garbantis in the late-game or end-game. Mid-game is kind of scary because mid-game, usually most of the walls aren't taken out, so Garbantis needs a lot of support in that front. So with that out of the way, I'll be talking about his resistances and weaknesses. Alright, Garbantis' typing of Earth plus Bug isn't as great as some other typings, but it does serve Garbantis relatively well, with three weaknesses only, two. Air, Brawler, and Water. Now, Air types is mainly the stuff you should be watching out for because they pretty much wall you to an oblivion. Stuff like Stratosaur, Zephyrin, Wintrix, um, Snagoop are all Air types you should be watching out for. And if you are concerned about Sorel, then you should be watching out for that as well. I did make a video on it, so go there if you want to watch it. Brawler types, mainly stuff like Kanibo is pretty much the only common Brawler type other than Yersel and Mutagon, but those stuff are banned. Water types like Barblast, Luminami, and Barbla- not Barblast, Luminami, and Kanibo are water types you should be watching out for, but other than that, not much water types that you should be watching out for. Other than that, you do have four resistances, but half of them are kind of mid. Toxic, Bug, Earth, and Dark are some resistances you should be watching out for. Dark types, well mainly Metatode, Cephalops, um, Teclips all will have dark type moves, so you can try switching in on those. Earth types, mainly Mars and Tyrex, and I guess you can count Borok. You can try switching in on those as well. You don't have the best matchup against them, but they're pretty okay. Bug types, mainly only Harvesect is the only common bug type, but it does wall you, so yeah, have fun with that. And Toxic types, mainly Venelin, Snagoop, and Barblast, but then again, 2 out of 3 of those stuff do hit you super effectively. So yeah, resistances aren't really great because the resistances do have an, some ways to hit Garbantises pretty well. However, Garbantises main weakness is to Ice, and Ice is 
not as common, but it's definitely something you should be watching out for because Ze not Zephyrin, but Wintrix and Tundulin are common ice types you should be watching out for, and I guess Himber is one of them also, so you can watch out for that as well. So with that all the way, I'll be talking about Garbantis' sets. Garbantis' first set is going to be the General Cleaner or Garbantis' General set with the ability of Trash Armor. This is mainly for boosting up your defenses and your battering ram, so that is pretty good. I would not advise you running Sharp Claws simply because Garbantis doesn't really have a good melee attack stat and its moves are kind of weak so on that front it's not really great and the move set of choice is going to be battering ram and earthquake these are your two best moves mainly because battering ram scales with your melee defense and earthquake is probably your best move because it is stab it's 90 base power and it does out damage pretty much all of your moves combined but you can try running other moves you don't really have to run earthquake bulk up is your next um, move choice bulk ups mainly here so you can set up battering ram and earthquake to do a lot more damage and your fourth move slot is provoke or poison poisons mostly for the air types that do not have dust or an outside ability like stratosaur so you can try poisoning them and provoke is mainly here for um, stopping walls from setting up which is pretty good on that front the, these both moves do have their advantages and disadvantages, so pick whatever you want. And yeah, the personality of choice is going to be robust, nimble, very clumsy. Very clumsy is mainly here because we do not want to uh, lower any other attacking stat. Because, you know, all of our stats are pretty important when we are not running much bulk. So very clumsy is the best thing because we're not using any range attack. Robust Nimble is mainly here so we can maximize our speed and our melee defense, so it's a good balance of that. And the item choice is going to be Health Amulet Bug Essence. Bug Essence is mainly here because if you do not want to run Health Amulet on this thing and want to save it for something like Tyrex, then Bug Essence is generally okay because, yeah, you know, you want to do as much damage with Battering Ram as possible. And if you do want to run the shell, then I won't stop you. I just wouldn't prefer the shell over an essence so yeah and the tps of choice is going to be 84 hp which at level 50 battles does give you an odd hp stat which will let you get three hit ko'd by icicle traps not to mention that it's pretty much leftovers so yeah 12 energy lets you use two bulk ups i'm pretty sure no, lets you use one bulk up and rather one bulk up or one poison or provoke and for battering rams, so yeah, that is a thing to consider, and it's pretty much leftovers as well, I'm pretty sure. And melee defense and speed does let you maximize your melee defense and speed stats. So with that out of the way, I'll be talking about Garbanus' other set, which is generally the same, but it's a lot more faster. So, the second set for Garbantis is the faster set. With a trash armory ability, it's pretty much self-explanatory at this point. And the move set of choice is going to be Battering Ram is your pretty much only good move and you can switch out any of the other moves. And the reason why I have Burrow here is because since this is mostly focused on damage, pure damage and Earthquake is going to be dealing a lot less damage. You can try running Burrow instead of Bulk Up to save energy. And with Earthquake, you do not, run a, you do not have to run Earthquake, you can run Provoke. But I generally wouldn't advise that and just run bulk up an earthquake. So yeah, the personality of choice this time will be very nimble, clumsy, foolish. So you can try and outspeed a lot more stuff. So yeah, you can consider that. Clumsy and foolish are mainly the stuff you should be decreasing because you do not want to sacrifice melee defense or melee attack. So yeah, you can sacrifice these. And the item of choice will be health amulet or bug essence. Like I said earlier, it's pretty much self-explanatory at this point, and the TPs are going to be the same. This Garbantis is mainly focused on outspeeding a lot of stuff, but I would generally, in my opinion, recommend the other set so you can outspeed and do damage, which is what I recommend. So yeah, with that out of the way, I'll be talking about Garbantis' teammates, so let's get along with that. The counters and checks to Garbantis is generally 
a lot. It's You might see some returning faces from the Borok video, mainly Harvesect. Harvesect does have the ability to driving force you out as well as resisting both of your stab moves, but it's generally not the best option because of poison. However, there are other options like Tundralin, Obsidian Gun, Shadowstorm, Barblast, as well as Tyrex. If you're running the very nimble or robust nimble, you will be able to switch in on a minus one terrifying um, earthquake. So yeah, also I'm pretty sure it's a four or five hit KO for the Tyrex. So yeah, that's pretty great for it. Bar Blast is mainly here because you do not have to run an item in order to absorb poison, as well as you being able to resist battering ram and earthquake doesn't nearly do enough damage to um, deal a lot of damage to you. So yeah, you can either run Dust on Obsidigon and Tundralin and you're pretty much the best thing against um, Garbantis. Well, I wouldn't generally use an Obsidigon against a Garbantis because unless the Garbantis gets some setup, um, Obsidigon is generally going to be having a good time against Garbantis. And Tundralin is here because Ice Hammer is a quite effective move and you do wall a lot of Garbantis' moveset, so yeah. Also run dust on this please. And Stratosaur is pretty much the best one out of all of these options in my opinion. Because it is immune to Earthquake, it resists Bug pretty well, and it is immune to Poison with its ability, so yeah. Um, other than that, you can run some offensive checks, stuff like the Air Types and Ferroglyph. The Air Types are pretty self-explanatory because you resist both of Garbantis' stabs and you are immune to Earthquake, I'm pretty sure. So that is a thing to consider. Wintrix or Nemare might be the best ones in my opinion, just because Wintrix offers a lot of damage and it does resist Garbanus' stuff pretty well, as well as Nemare. And Nemare provides some outside utility like Flash and Flea and Hypnotize, so you can try that as well. Zeppelin and Snagoop are not as great as these guys, but they're definitely very serviceable and they can definitely take advantage of Garbantis pretty well. And Ferroglyph is here on if Garbantis is at least chipped to maybe a little bit above 50% HP. So with Ferroglyph you can do that as well. Some offensive teammates to this is basically Zulong, Hunter, uh, Joltooth, and Metatode. Joltooth is mainly here because it does pretty well against all of the defensive checks and counters that I said for Garbantis, but the main reason why I wouldn't uh, advise using this is mainly because you need an ambush to actually do damage to these guys So yeah, I'll just consider that and Metatode here is pretty great because it doesn't really um, Rely on ambush to do anything. In fact, it doesn't even have it It's overall damage power and coverage is good for these walls while you, you do not do very well against maybe Harvesect you do pretty well against stuff like Obsidragon, Stratosaur, Tundralin, as well as Barblast, so that is a thing to consider. And Hunter and Zulong, they're generally good cleaners or sweepers. Hunter is mainly here because, well, it takes out a bunch of the defensive answers. It just needs a little bit of chip, and then Hunter can take them out, as well as the same story for Zulong, so that is a thing to consider. And defensive teammates is mainly Stratosaur, Sidemars, Iliguana, and Barblast. Stratosaur is mainly here because it does pretty well against Obsidragon and Harvesect, as well as against Barblast because you can set up on them, which is pretty great, and you hit Harvesect super effectively as well. Iliguana is also another option you can try running for the Barblast and Stratosaur defensive answers, which is pretty great. Also with Stratosaur and Iliguana, you generally wall out almost all the air types aside from Zeflin. But if you do want to run an Lumion that it can destroy the defensive and offensive checks and counters to Garbantis pretty well, then uh, Stratosaur is pretty much your best option. And Sedimars is not the best in terms of resistances con compared to these guys. Sedimars is pretty great because it does offer a lot of damage output with its hasty ability and its moveset, as well as being generally pretty tanky overall, which is pretty good for anything. And Bar Blast here is mainly for the Tundralin, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, Stratosaur also another point for it, it does wall uh, Ferroglyph, which is pretty great for anything. 
So yeah, with that out of the way, I'll be talking about the conclusion and my closing thoughts on Garbantis. So yeah, let's get along with that. So yeah, Garbantis. It's, in my opinion, not as great as I used to think it was. Definitely fall off a lot after the release of the UMB update, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe along the other updates as well. I wouldn't use Garbantis, but particularly if you want to use something fun and something that's generally pretty fun to play like Garbantis, then go ahead, I'm not stopping you. This HGUC was mainly focused on getting Garbantis' name out there. So yeah, while I wouldn't particularly rem um, you know, recommend this thing on anyone's team, Garbantis is generally a Lumion that I do not mind anyone using. It's pretty viable now, so yeah. With, with that out of the way, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm pretty close to 100 subs. So yeah, um, consider subscribing, I guess, like the video and subscribe if you're into that. I do have a lot of great videos out there that I consider that are pretty good, like my how to use and counter Pyrolin and Sinogre, which are stuff that I pretty think that I think are pretty good, as well as my how to use and counter Borok and Sorel video that are generally good Lumions and Sorel is the new Sweet Retreat Lumion, so yeah, subscribe if you want to see more videos like that. And like the video if you found this video informational. I generally do Lumen guides like this, so if you want to see more from me, then like the video and yeah. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Like and subscribe. I do have a Discord that you should probably try joining. I do weekly, not weekly, I do daily question of the days. I do some other stuff on there as well and provide leaks for any new upcoming videos as well. So with that out of the way, like the video, subscribe, join the Discord, and of course, remember that Zulong is still a dumpster fire.